Hi guys, welcome back to SRE. Wanted to give you a peek here inside a freshly roughed out set of transfers. Just so you can see how I do them. Um, you know, like I said, I I um, I cut the, the side of the cylinder down a little bit there to help with getting in. Um, so that would be if you didn't cut it down and uh that's the way i like to do it round it um air likes radiuses not sharp edges so try to radius everything that you can and um so that's uh how i like to cut them out um just kind of a quick uh vid there's my exhaust port um not throwing out the numbers. I worked really hard and spent a lot of money to figure them out. You know, cut a lot of bad cylinders. <laughs> um, even though I have that, um, you know, the program there. Um, it gets you in the ballpark, but there's still a lot of room for improvement. Um, but this cylinder right here has got our drag mod numbers in it. Um, piston port. Uh, for some reason, I seem to be able to make a lot of power with piston ports. Um, you know, other guys swear by case reads. Um, I seem to be able to just, I don't know, whatever the reason is. Um, not going to get into that, but um, seem to really rock with these. Um, I mean, of course, my case reads are kick-ass in my opinion, but... I seem to really think these are like outstanding, you know what I mean? Um, as far as, uh, power is concerned. So this 34 is really going to make it, um, absolutely really going to get it done. Uh, here's the pop-up after it's been mounted. Um, so just to look at everything, I, I just, oh, and here's my, um, Here's my 46 in, in long block form, uh, all bolted together and and everything clearanced and, and ready to go. So I just got to finish bolting this fan shroud on and um, start putting the rest of it together. And it's going to be a complete monster. This thing is going to be a killer, dude. I can't wait to run that thing. Um, I'm excited. Uh, got, I'm setting it up for Q16, uh, the oxygenated fuel. I've got an oxygenated carburetor that um, uh, Keon did for me. Um, it's good for alcohol and, you know, other oxygenated fuels. So I'm going to try it on that Q16 and see if it um, will, you know, should cover the demand with no problem. Um, I might contact him and see what he thinks before I try it. Um, but anyway, uh, kick-ass deal. Um, I got Vance's all done. I got his um, water or his uh, 30.5 engine uh, squared away. Uh, that one gave me more trouble than his 46. Uh, getting the getting the the some stuff sealed on it and messing around. But we finally got it and. Um, I finally got this uh, twin looking like a car done far enough to that point. Um, so there's the uh, G Nitrous GT. A um, couple of spare engines that are mine. Um, my 30 degree north uh, with a 39 in it. Um, my 46. Uh, powered um, XLT, Rover XLT, and my RCMK buggy, which I absolutely love. So, <clears throat> be looking out for as soon as the snow melts, guys. Um, I have about 15 inches, maybe 15 to 18 inches on the ground right now. But um, the weather says it's going to be um, going on to... 45 degrees for like a week straight coming up so that'll kick the shit out of that snow but then it'll be mud right so but whatever can run in that <laughs> all right guys peace out